Hello everyone, welcome back to Pergamese campaign in Macedonian Wars. So here we are again, it's been a while guys, I haven't actually played in several months as I have told you in one of my previous recent videos. So here we are back with this uh, campaign, I'm hoping to complete this and uh, the aim would be here for Pergamon is to basically secure, secure all of Asia Minor. Uh, yeah, so this cost here i'm not gonna go anywhere beyond at the moment i have good relations with several factions here so i'm going to uh, continue to maintain those if i can so if you watched the previous episode uh, then i'll give you a quick rundown if you haven't you're not missing much so basically what happened is we were at war in a previous episode fighting kizikas here we defeated them eventually I've signed a defensive agreement with them as well as with uh, Byzantium here. So we are defensive allies with them. Uh, but I hopped into Europe here and uh, snatched a Macedonian um, settlement here. Established a small garrison here just to kind of patrol and guard this crossing here. Now, my faction leader, unbelievably, Atalas, is still about, he's 71 years old now, okay? So he is now uh, in the south, here he is, okay? So what we're doing, we're trying to, you know, because of this province system in Rome 1, uh, sorry, Rome 2, when you kind of have to control all the provinces so that you can uh, and then issue the edict. I don't like this system, but here it is, right? So what I was doing here with this system is I was trying to secure some of the settlements, especially in the uh, Aegean uh, region here. So I was, I'll hoping, basically took this uh, from the Macedonians and took Samos as well. And now here I am. I'm aiming at taking Miletus possibly. Not sure if I want to keep it or I want to just, you know, uh, loot it and destroy everything and just use it as a uh, cash cow. We'll see. Because you see the rest are owned by my defensive ally. Uh, the Ptolemies, although Miletus does have walls, so that would offer a lot of protection. So what else we've got here? We have a couple okay. of spies. There's one. Oh yeah, the Seleucids backstabbed me. Well, didn't backstab me. They attacked me basically. Uh, and what I've done, I snatched Sardis from them. They didn't have much of a garrison there, so I took over. And with that army, I sent it over to as an expeditionary force to kind of try and harass the Seleucids here. However, they got stuck here for some reason. And I couldn't move them back forth or anything, so they were starving because of the supply issues. So I kind of dismissed the entire army. And Seleucids now have a huge stack here with lots and lots of pikemen and some cataph cataphracts as well. Now this one only 200 men, I'm not sure why, it should be 256, identical to these guys. So anyway, lots of pikemen here, another full stack, almost full stack here and here. So they have a lot going for them and they currently control only Caria, I believe. Let me just double check. Yes, Caria is what they control currently. So my faction leader, as you've seen already, is down south. Where is Royal Army? There he is. So yeah, we are concentrating on the south now because there's still some Macedonian presence or Macedonian, whatever you prefer. And the Seleucids are now hostile. So with the three armies in the field, so that's where we are. Miletus, uh, I left it, I let it, uh, sorry, not Miletus, uh, Mit Mitilene, I let it to its own devices. So what we're going to do, guys, the plan is to try and snatch this settlement from, oh yeah, my Royal Navy is also on the way down south to help out. We'll see when and if it's going to uh, uh, arrive on time. I'm not going to wait for it. So what I was thinking of doing is actually assaulting uh, Miletus. Let's see if we can do it. So yeah, I've been here losing some men to attrition because I was in the sea. And yeah, my general is still not up for it. But hey, that's okay. Let's see. Let them cower like kennel dogs. Oh, that's actually easy win for me, isn't it? Okay. Uh, oh, I have already got some... Um, some ladders here okay that's fantastic uh what do they have greek hoplites lots of ah yeah that's probably because they have lots of militia yeah yeah i'm not gonna bother playing uh just look at this advantage i'm just going to auto resolve this let's see uh 81 80 80 yeah let's go protective stance there you go now i don't know what to do with it occupy no loot wow ten thousand suck um you do not capture so i'm thinking if i suck it destroy all the buildings and then move on and then maybe let it revolt i'm not sure what to do although sucking is actually yielding only three thousand whereas 
looting is 10,000. No, let's go with the looting for now. Let's see. I think I might actually keep it because it's a walled city. And look, the garrison is 18 units, so that's quite a lot. Let's see, can I retrain anybody here? Oh yeah, I can train quite a lot of troops here. Fantastic. What is this? Oh yeah, my general. So let's give him, let's give him something that can increase campaign movement range. I always like that. It's always a good... Uh, oh, look, minus 15 upkeep for all units. Let's go with this. And upkeep again. Wow, that's going to be really, really cheap. Line of sight campaign. Yeah, campaign. Master of scouts. Yeah, definitely that. And what is this? Uh, replenishment rate. Yes, let's go with that. Okay, so that's it. That's it for now because we are kind of replenishing here, aren't we? And uh, let's see. Yeah, we are replenishing. Uh, sometimes what I do, I just merge the like units. If they don't have too much experience, too many chevrons, then I'll merge them. I dismiss them. Hire brand new. If it's only one or two chevrons difference. But for now, I think none of them are in red. A couple of units are in yellow. I think I'm going to leave them as it is. Uh, these guys have unit rank 3. If I was to recruit, it would be rank 1. So now let's leave them. Uh, these guys could actually go, but then recruiting would be a little bit more difficult uh, in terms of upkeep. Uh, sorry, in terms of expenditure. So let's leave this for now. I have a lot of money, 56,000, and this is because I only have one royal army in the field yes. and royal navy. That's it. My expeditionary force, like I mentioned before, I had to, I had to actually this, uh, yeah, uh, this the uh, this bandit. Sorry. So let's see if I can. Actually, do they have any resource here? No, they don't. Library they have. Okay, that would be good. Uh, what else? In. And yes. Oh, and a fishing port. All right, let's go with let's go with this. I have so much money anyway. I have more money than I know what to do with. To be honest with you. Uh, yeah, let's do this. We need some food in this province. And yeah, this is the bar. Uh, let's just re rebuild everything. There you go. There you go. Let's see. Right, so that's pretty much it. I think, I think, I think the Macedonians are, this is it, with their possessions in, yeah, I think they're done. I've kicked them out of Asia Minor, guys, so this is it. So that's one objective com uh, completed. These are all my defensive allies, Byzantium, uh, Kizikas, and also uh, this island here, now I've captured all the islands, Samos, uh, yeah, Oignon, and uh, this is Lesbos, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I've captured all of them. And we are defensive. So these are the problems. Kari, yeah? let's see what the Seleucid is going to do there. I'm hoping for a big, big showdown with them. Where are they? Yeah, here. So I'm probably going to replenish and then I'm going to march through the uh, Ptolemy's territories because we actually have access with them. We have military access the with them, so I can Olympians march through them you. and what have a big showdown and fight for Caria. That's my objective, and I will end this campaign there when and if we complete this objective. All right, guys, so Seleucids have been very, very active, it seems. So I've noticed that they're moving out. Okay, so they moved one army into Ptolemy's territory. They're moving all the rest of the armies that were actually uh, garrisoning here. They're moving them towards the west as well. So there's more coming. Okay, there's more coming. If I can actually... Yeah, this, I have a spy here. If I could somehow intercept them by in such a way that I'm only fighting one one of their um, battle... Uh, sorry, armies at a time, that'd be great. So I still have a couple of more turns to go here to actually... Yeah, to replenish all of my men. Let's see where they're going to go. I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. Glass smelter, where is that? Oh, yes, in Samus. Okay, great. Let's go with, let's go with, yeah, glass factory. There you go, here. Household. Yeah, this Basileus is going strong, amazingly. Wise man, okay. Yeah, he's still about 70-something now. He was fighting this war. Oh, yes, my uh, champion has recovered. I'm going to have to send you this way, I think, because I want to see if there's no threat coming from this side. I have dignitary here. Yeah, but she's like uh, more uh, on in, inside my province, taking care of the public order and the rest. And I have a couple of spies here as well. Let's see. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, the game, the mod, Dividade Impera, has been actually... Uh, yeah, there's a second, and uh, that's the second one in Pergamon. Dignitary has been actually updated. So it's 0.3 now, 1.3 version. It's finally exited the uh, beta. 
So it's now official. So this is what I have now. I've updated my mod here as well. And yeah, I'm stealing. There are Macedonian presents here in Europe, but I'm not going to bother with this. Uh, there is also here on the islands. I actually might hop onto this eventually. I don't know, somehow, uh, yeah, I decided not to go there because it's quite far off and it would be difficult for me to defend because it's so close to uh, to these but Macedonian possessions here, as you can see. Um, Fipolis and the rest, not too far, would be difficult. I have a couple of garrisons here, actually, in my um, yeah settlements. You know, the furthermost, there's one here, in Sestos, Hellespons, uh, Hellespontos Guard. I've also positioned one here on the separate, you know, isolated islands. I actually need to reinforce this guy, maybe recruit a couple of more units for him, just to kind of, uh, you know, support him a little bit more. Although the garrison here is is okay, 12 men, not, nothing to, uh, you know, to write home about. Oh, yes, let's bring my fleet here. Let's bring them here as well, just in case, just in case. And we'll see what's going to happen there. So yeah, my spies are. There's one here stealing food. Another one is here. And yeah, let's let's keep an eye on the Seleucids. Let's see what they're up to. Okay, they want defensive allies, uh, alliance, and they want a bit of money. Actually, that would be good because I'm not planning on annexing them anytime soon. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Okay, so Seleucids are back and forth and back and forth. What is happening here? They have lots of uh, agents all over the place. So one army has returned. There's a Ptolemaic army here, probably starving by now. One army has returned and it's full stock now. And it's in uh, Caria. Uh, and then we have... Then we have another army on the border. And I think, yeah, this one is marching out. Okay, so I'm going to try and meet this one in the field if I can. Hopefully, I'll be able with my agent to prevent this to merging. So I can defeat them one at a time, we shall see. Are we all? Yes, we're still waiting for one more turn. I'm going to keep them in place until they fully, fully actually uh, replenished. Agents, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So you see, my army doesn't have as many pikemen and doesn't have the too many cavalry units. Only three cavalry units plus the general. I have four units of uh, peltas. I've decided to have, you know, very flexible kind of... A maneuverable army so i have one two three four we'll see i'm gonna have to micromanage this a little bit i think it's gonna be more interesting this way more mobile i have uh yeah some archers and then the rest are infantry some hoplites some elite bodyguard unit and this uh Turia poroi as well three units i think of those so it should be interesting fighting the Seleucids. where uh, where are they yeah that is full stack half of it look almost half of it are pikemen so let's go ahead and uh, end this turn All right, let's sponsor an athlete. Shall we do that? Uh, it's too expensive. Uh, yeah, let's back a competitor. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, so these guys are still there. These guys are... Okay, that's good. There is a lot of distance between the two. I like that. Construction, uh, Agora. And okay, let's see if we can actually build anything else. No, I think... Yeah, one thing I do not really like in the uh, in this mode is like once you upgrade your settlements to level 3, you know, then it's kind of a game where you're not gonna upgrade it anymore because sanitation will be destroyed. I th it used to be the case anyway prior to this patch. I don't know if that has changed. So let's go with supply pit and it will give us a bit of grain, which is great. I have grain already, but hey, gonna be having a bit more of it which is always good so there's nothing else i can build anywhere which is good unhappy populace where oh and hellespond yeah i have a garrison here and i have this mod you know no public order we penalty mod for, for garrisons because i don't understand like the the logic of this uh happiness yeah perhaps but public order should not be affected happiness might be so let's send someone there to hellespond to actually try and improve public games improve a little bit there yeah it's gone to plus four now which is good public order a little bit yeah so yeah i have a couple of sub mods here a few sub mods actually on the top of vanilla d d i okay so let's move on let's move on let's start approaching these guys yeah let's see if we can actually uh, let's patrol there you go for now and my navy actually has arrived as well. Hopefully we'll keep... Oh, look at them. One, two... Okay, where is my... Uh, where is my champion? Uh, this guy has been due to promotion. Let's see if I can actually 
what's this gold from looting now I want more food that you know that he steals company general authority what about this upkeep fold parent army here he's not with the army though is it uh, let's see how can I steal more food uh, this is food okay let's go this way uh, I cannot for some reason upgrade there oh well what is this chance of critical chance of all actions um, do you know what let's do that let's go this way yeah that's it oh we have more space it would seem it would seem it would seem uh, ah, yeah, I cannot upgrade this is would give us more food but let's go with uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. parent army doesn't have a parent army yeah okay and sealer is stolen yeah let's just go with this for now okay where is my champion there it is there he is there he is let's see if I can actually bring him around this way oh it's a long way oh well that's okay let's also deploy him so he can spread despair among their population that's fine and with these guys we're going to try and target this army I'm gonna keep an eye on them uh, who else is due to uh, be upgraded and this is the general yeah campaign movement map uh, sorry uh, campaign ma movement range let's go with this one yeah and let's promote him uh, let's do this I always emphasize this and uh, you know try to focus on campaign uh, movement range let's move on okay the Seleucids they have turned south I think they targeting all right yeah legal institutions someone returned from mission oh it's this guy Olympics unsuccessful however we are pleased that you know we took part three public order that's great troubled populace still Hellespontus gives me trouble yeah but it's now actually in plus one that's okay I'll leave it there I don't think I can do anything about it anyway there's a garrison already there and there is all this stuff that needs to be done is done and let's see so yeah this look has decided to go for Knidos it seems I'm gonna try and hmm I'm gonna try and yeah march here as well this is a territory of my defensive allies let's move to this area 64% chance nice. of ambush there you go so let's see where these guys are going if they take Nidos then it gives me carte blanche to actually go ahead and annex the entire Ionia province uh, if they press real hard on the Ptolis that is right let's bring this guy here yeah there's no garrison nothing here actually I may raise another army and strike them from the north if I really wanted to but we shall see we shall see he's so old now I'm not gonna do this I think I'm gonna keep my best generals just for now so that in case he passes away you know then we can actually have someone here replacing him someone of good quality um, yeah I don't think it's worth it let's just keep it as it is uh, eight campaign map movement range that's good for me yeah let's let's keep it can anyone be upgraded actually no promoted no nobody oh yeah this guy can there you go I don't mind doing it to opposition because actually we are you know we are now beloved so I don't have problems with them in politics here you see only one faction and yeah we're okay we're okay we're not in the minus with them that's okay loyalty breakdown five that's okay uh, right so let's see let's see let's see what else we can do oh yes we actually haven't researched much in terms of military so I think I'm gonna do that here we are okay uh, actually yeah let's do this first yeah so that this give us sanitation with the aqueducts and such let's move on okay stop the adoption yeah let's stop the adoption that's not gonna work uh, right guys so let's see so there are one army is still here I'm going to start targeting them actually the other two have marched back okay I don't know oh look at that okay where are you doing you go, uh, where do you think you're going let's see well I'm not gonna be able to assassinate him but I want to keep an eye it's a full stack as well um, so I need to be careful with that um, right let's see what else has happened here uh, exposed who's exposed okay that's fine yeah they oh Crete okay let's see if we can trade with them hidden agent exposed yeah that's one of our enemies Ionia has now traveled populous yeah that's not surprising a noble woman increased in rank and she's actually helping us with 
uh, with public order and all the rest of that let's see if I can upgrade her a little bit uh, construction cost tax okay yeah that's good and what else can we do with you madam what else can we do there was something to do with industry let's go with unit replenishment cost no this is local armies right yeah let's go with that and then maybe with maybe with maybe with let's go with unlock discredit cultural conversion yeah let's go with this okay so that's her for now uh yeah, the Macedonians were busy, by the way. Now, while I'm in Asia, they were hammering the Athenians really badly, you see. They took Lorion from them and actually surrounded them. I think, uh, as this... Wow, uh, Achaean League has now actually taken over Thebes. That's crazy. Argos was taken over by uh, Sparta, as you can see. So, yeah, Athenians having a really, really hard time here fending off and they don't have much in terms of armies so Macedonians are really really look at that Basileo so this is Philip okay I think where is he off to I don't know we'll see but yeah I'm worried a bit that they will overrun Athens as historically was the case placing garrison there and all the rest of that but I'm dealing with my own issues you know historically speaking Pergamon was uh, at the uh, you know uh, in a conflict with the Seleucids and then Battle of Magnesia and all the rest of that. It's actually Battle of Magnesia, the Pergamis, that uh, routed their flank of Antiochus the Great of Seleucids. And then that helped them to win the ultimate victory while, while Antiochus was off, you know, pursuing the fleeing Romans that he, he actually managed to uh, destroy and to rout on his flank. But anyway, let's move on. It is a terrible thing to spread war across the world. But I beg you. Now, why would I want to do that? Wretches. Crete is God knows where, right? No, I actually wanted to see if I can trade with them. All right, unhappy populace as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. Oh, let's send one of my characters. Let's send this guy because he's in opposition, hopefully, you know, because every time I send one of my fellas, they get unhappy. There you go. So that's fine. Actually, I would need to send one of my own as well because I have problem in another province as well. Oh, yeah, we can upgrade this fella let's do that excellent 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 and this is a garrison commander i believe he's a general uh, campaign map yeah yeah commander. that's the one okay let's give him some bonuses here to maybe yeah improve movement range and also line of sight and again movement and let's go with what is that resistance public order penalties due to local local okay all right let's go with this yeah we'll see actually what does he have here Additional, no, I don't need that. I need you to have something to do with public order in this province, if possible. And I think this goose here will do just that. Yeah, let's go with the goose and here. Yeah, we'll just leave it. Is there a public order? Public order. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Yeah, excellent. And there we might want to do something with... I'm, I'm not sure if there's anything with a public order that would be available here. Armor. Fisherman, no. Authority, no, 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 no. Banditry. Oh, hang on. From military presence. Oh, but it slows the growth, right? What's the growth like? Mm, for Yeah, no, let's let's keep it as it is actually for now. Uh, I want to expand this settlement eventually. Okay, so where are we? Where is the Royal Navy? Is here. And Royal Army. Oh, hang on. Who is this? Oh, that's my uh, allies. Yeah, so the uh, Seleucids have marched and they tried, they, they brought these two armies back and there was another army here somewhere, where did they go? Did they march, march south? I think they marched south with them. Yeah, they must have gone south, I hope. I will have to chase up this area and I will have to scout there, I don't want any nasty surprises, my uh, heartland is undefended virtually. But you know, I don't feel the need of uh, recruiting another army right now, to be honest with you. So let's see, I'm aiming for a showdown with these guys. And this could be a very, very interesting fight. Look, they have cataphracts, they have cataphracts, three of them, and they have so many pikes. We'll see, we'll see. I haven't played battles in a while in this mod, so that should be fun. Let's go. Okay, the Seleucid agent is targeting. I hope he doesn't kill my faction leader. That would be a real, a real bummer. Oh uh, no, where do you go? Uh, they, they are running away. Let's see, return from mission, that's fine. Mission failed. Defeat the army. Where is this army anyway? 
It's here somewhere. Oh man, they are threatening Athens now. That's not good. Uh, glass factory has been built. That's fantastic. Anything else? No, we're all right. I think we reached the limit of uh, building possibilities everywhere, more or less. Hellespontos again, not happy. Ah, oh, you guys, what am I to do with you? All right, let's send him again. Why are they not happy there? Let's see, actually. What's happening? Breakdown. Uh, building squalor, okay. Taxes, they don't want slaves. Ah, maybe I could actually... Well, I cannot sla sell slaves. But they have plenty of food, look. And uh, they should be all right. Banditry is fine as well. Oh, well. Okay, let's see. Where is this army? This is my major objective. Where did they go? Ah, this is it, guys. This is it. Increase in rank. Who is... Oh, yeah, I have a hero here. <clears throat> Hopefully... Hang on. Basileus, yeah. Basileus was unaffected by their, um, by their guy. Uh, let's see what I can improve. Chances of evading, authority, product, da, 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 no. What's this? Experience by general of parent army, okay. Uh, chances of launching an ambush for parent army, okay, that sounds good. And then cost of, uh, no, that's I'm not interested in. Unlock, demoralize, and this one is zeal income from raiding for, for parent, yeah, okay. And this one is public order penalties, unlocked rally slaves, cunning. Let's go with, 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 cunning, and that's fine, that's enough. Okay, so, oh, damn, they bloody, look at them, what they've done. Uh, right, if I actually, if I block their way of retreat, like, let's go and stand over here somewhere. Let's see. And do the same thing. The I want to basically make sure they cut off. They cannot go back. The only way they can go back, attempt Atalas action slaughter. The enemy has failed to assassinate. Oh, bloody hell. It wanted to assassinate my, my leader. Oh, gosh, that's not good. Personal tutor, that's okay. All right, guys. So let's see what they're going to do now. This stuck here. Let's see. Okay, research complete. Technology tier achieved construction one that is good. This guy returned home. It's good for him. Household expands. Bas uh, Basileus. Okay. Right. Do you know what? I think I'm going to attack them. They again entrench themselves, it seems. And they don't want to go home. They were smart about this. So let's. Shall we see uh, how it's going to pan out? It's uh, going to be difficult. They have all these pikemen inside there. So I am a bit, I don't know, apprehensive about this, but um, do you know what? Four stars, they have, but no, that's, that's, that's their guy. Oh, okay, that's their Basileus. Shouldn't be Basileus, but hey, this is my Basileus. How old is this fella? Uh, I don't know, doesn't say. Army supply, da, da, da. supply line, one region. Okay, anyway, so let's try and attack them. Before we do that, quickly... Quickly, 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 let's select something. Cl second class population growth, upkeep recruitment for fleets. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay, so I think we're going to now Ready for orders. attack them. Let's see. Okay, so fingers crossed. Let's go. All right, so this is their army. Lots and lots of pikemen, solid infantry here. Some skirmishes, four of them. No long range archers, which is good because they have to, but then they will have this, uh, what do you call it? Oh boy, uh, towers, wouldn't they? These are quite a nuisance, actually. Right, guys, here we are. So I split my forces into t three groups. Uh, there's one group here, and uh, there's another group uh, down here, and the third one is down here, this side. So I'm going to try and... Oh, they, they, they're moving out. Okay, they're moving out. All right, that's interesting. So I'm going to try and move my infantry forward a little bit like so. Oh yeah, and I have cavalry units like this in between the groups, just in case, you know, they need to do something. They need to intervene. So let's go and let's move out. And these guys as well, let's move them forward like so. Okay, so here they come. So who is this? Oh my god, this is their cavalry now. Archers, let's send you forward and let's put skirmishing on. 
I had also a unit of... No, I had swords here. What's this? Oh, reform the line. Oh, I did not know. I uh, did not know that what, what that was. Take a step forward, forward, and reform the ranks. Do not does not work if formation is turned off, or if the unit is out of melee. Oh, fantastic! All right. Yeah, the same, the same. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, no, no, no. Archers, focus on these guys. And here, I had some archers as well. No, I had uh, skirmishers here, peltists. Okay, let's go. All right, let's move out. Here, what's happening? Actually, they left their camp unprotected. Let's go. I have some light infantry here. I'm going to send them over here to take over the square. Yeah, pikemen. No, let's let's add a double move. And you guys as well. Oh, boy, 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 boy. What's happening here? Okay. Yeah, skirmish mode on. Skirmish mode on. Let's actually let's let's kill their general while we can. He's isolated himself. Let's go. Right. So what's happening here now? All right. Excellent. Is this pikemen? Okay, pikemen. You need to target these guys, will you? Yeah. Let's go. Let's move. Oh no, who is this routing? Oh gosh, already? Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. This is my general here. He's got sandwiched between their cataphracts and others. Oh, that doesn't look good, man. Doesn't look good at all. Right, let's target these guys. Right, go for it. Let's support my general here. Oh, no, that's not the general, that's just a cavalry unit. That's alright. Let's get you out of there, boys. Alright. Spears, go for it. Right, what's happening, guys? Are you entering here quickly? Archers, let's take over this. And you guys take over this. And you guys take over that. Okay, hopefully we'll manage to... Who's this? Oh, that's Spear Infantry that's doing alright. Let's move. Plants. Who's this? Oh, no, no, no. Atalus has got stuck there. That's not good. Who's this? Archers, let's get you out of there, boys. Right, so what's happening here? Let's capture this. Right, I think we're neutralizing it now. Go. Alright, so what's happening? Bikes. No, 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 don't change them. Go this way. Alright, where is my general? Where is my general? General, where are you? There they are. Where is he? Did he get himself killed? I cannot see him anywhere in the field. No, actually, let's go this attack. Okay, so we captured their camp while they were away. Okay, how cool is that? Uh, melee. Right, let's go pike against their pikes. Swords this way. My air, oh, my general has actually routed. Oh my god. Shameless, shameless guy. Right, well done. What's, ca what's happening? Tarantine cavalry got stuck there with... Oh boy, is that their... Yeah, that's their... Um, heavy cap. Oh boy, we are routing here. So what, what's gonna happen? I think I'm gonna just... What? Oh no, I thought they were routing the spell tests as well. Yeah, this is their uh, general here. Yeah, they cut the frags. There's not much we can do against them. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and capture the, their camp and hold it. That's all I can do right now, I think. Uh, not much else. Oh boy, my infantry here is surrounded, but we're trying to hit them as well. Although we hit them in the 
into the pikes. Let's get you out, boys. All right, so that's done. I think I'm gonna move you out. Right, let's see if I can actually place you here quickly. Go and protect the square. I think I'm gonna need to commit more men there. Yeah, okay, I'm losing this battle. Uh, my guys are caught, caught and to totally slaughtered here now. So basically, yeah, I'm losing the battle in the field. Though I'm holding... I'm holding this <laughs> camp. I'm gonna lose this, I think. I think it doesn't look good. Let's try and see what this do. Uh, right, let's see, Peltas, can you actually slaughter these guys? Oh yeah, fantastic, excellent, excellent. Excellent, excellent job. Oplites, let's go with the phalanx mode. Oh, look at that, they're absolutely smashing them. Absolutely destroying them. Right, is this pike unit deployed? Pikes, lower your pikes, there you go. We're gonna hold the camp and see what's going to happen. I totally lost the fight here in the wing. Um, it's unfortunate. They'll just go for them, go for them. Slaughter them, please. Right, so what's happening here? So, okay, I lost another unit. Damn! I'm not doing great, am I? Still have Peltas here. Uh, I need to start moving out, I think. Oh, damn. Yeah. I need to start thinking about how to get out of this situation now. It's a very sticky situation. I only have a handful of units now left. Who is this? Damn, this cavalry is very, very good. has good morale. Excellent morale, don't they? Yeah. Peltast. Oh, Peltast good. Yeah, Peltast, let's bring you back in. Let's bring you back in. But at least the towers are now ours. So they're firing. That is good. I think I'm gonna place these guys down here. Like so. And perhaps put them in a guard mode or something, we'll see, yeah. Oh no, actually I have pikes here, let's put the pikes there, there you go, like so. Right, archers from here, peltas, bring you back in. Another unit of peltas here, I have heavy ones. Swords are doing alright against this unit of whoever they are. Let's see if I can actually bring my unit of cavalry here as well to help them out. So I don't know what's going to happen here now. Okay, this unit is routing. It's great to see. So if I can actually hold on to this... Ah, uh, no. That's it. This unit is gone there as well now. It's gone now. And they only have... Oh, is that their general unit? No, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter now. They routed us. Swords are also gone. So let's see what's going to happen here, because I'm holding the square, right? Let's target their general. My general has fled the field, the uh, the coward. So what I'm hoping is, uh, uh, oh yeah, that's it, I'm done now. I only have, oh boy, I only have a handful of units here now. Yeah, I'm, oh, the cataphrags are coming. They are coming now. But we're targeting them. There you go. Fantastic. Excellent. Excellent. Are they going to manage to route them, my guys? Yes. Yes, 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 please. Yes. Great. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's it. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. Let's see if I can target this cavalry as well. They another unit of their uh, shock cavalry. How many did they have? Four. Three units of cataphrags they had. And... Um, Oh no, out of arrows, out of there, boys, out of there. Yeah, out, 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 come here. So I have some units with... Actually, let's place them over here. Yeah, they still have javelins, these guys. Peltas have a couple of javelins as well there, a few. So this will be uh, placing them here. So we have to really defend these two entries. I don't think they'll make it that way all the way down there. So there they come. There they come, there they come. And 
bikes are doing their jobs, fantastic. So this might uh, seem crazy, but my plan was just to hold their camp now because the towers here will help us out with, with all the fire that they actually inflict upon them now. So we'll see if that works. Right, Peltasts, why are we not firing, guys? There you go, go. Let's see if they're gonna actually do it. Yes, they are. They are, they are. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well done. Right, pikes are holding strong. And these guys as well. Melee infantry, I'm holding them in reserve. Archers in reserve as well. Don't have any more uh, arrows left. These guys actually still have a few valleys, a couple of valleys of, um, of javelins. Let's see. All right, so they are bringing their own uh, pikes in, which isn't very good. Guys, are you firing? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want you to please concentrate your fire on this area over here, okay? And you guys, if you can, over here as well, please. Oh, no, that's it. They're out of uh, uh, ammo. Whew. So, yeah, now, if we can hold this... If we can hold the line silver here, shield, still have silver Peltast. shields. Let's get Peltas. No, this is okay. Actually, these guys will be gone now. Uh, okay, pikemen. Pikes. This one unit of pikes holds an entire enemy army at bay. Look at that. Yeah, these guys, I hope they will not be coming back. They are a light unit anyway, but still, you know, a pain, a pain, a pain. So yeah, if I could have another unit of cavalry or something, then what I could do actually, potentially, is outflank them. But you know what? It doesn't have to be cavalry. It could be... Silver shields. It could be Peltas. Yeah, let's see if it works. Oh, the pikemen are now routing. And we're holding strong here. We do take some damage there. But I am bringing a shield swordsman here, just in case. Just in case, in case, in case. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Let's see. They will be guarding us. And these three units of Peltas, they will be positioned here for outflanking maneuver. Yeah, they are heavy Peltas, these guys are in elite unit. So they should do short and uh, quick job out of. Oh, no, then they penetrated here. Alright, this way, quick. Quick, quick, quick. I actually have Pikeman unit here as well. And I'll bring. Oh, no, no, not me. You go this pikeman unit over here yeah silver shield swordsman go for it guys i'm going to disable guard mode yeah go for it so they will support my pikes and now i need to really really quickly start targeting them there you go with my peltas yeah let's go and my Cretan archers there as well let's see if we can hit them in the flank and cause a route here so hopefully yeah there you go there you go some of it already works fantastic fantastic these guys let's go guys let's go 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 so yeah we are doing all right we're doing okay it seems yeah good 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 so plan working out for now i can just say that it does work out and i am managing to do what i wanted to do so i'm using this camp their camp as a fortified area that i'm going to guard Although I lost most, most of my army flanks have disintegrated. Still have one unit of pikemen, look, here. In, let's see what do they do here now with this. Step forward or something, reforming, I don't know. Still have a unit of pikemen in reserve, which is great. Let's bring the peltas here. Archers, yes, go. Archers doing good, they're doing, doing really good. So this is my royal pest peltas, the heavy ones. All right, excellent, excellent. Attack, push, push, push. They didn't lose a single man yet. The bodyguard, elite bodyguard unit, that is. You know what, let's attack this pikeman while they're still, uh, you know, in loose formation. Let's attack them, see if that helps. Right, you guys, push. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this is going to work out. Oh, man, this grass is really tall, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. They are reformed. They have reformed now in kind of a loose formation. And I'm hoping I'll be able to penetrate this and smash them. Yeah, we'll see with my Peltas. We shall see. All right. Peltas attack this unit in the, in the flank. There's one of them rallied and it's not really looking that great. 
Right, let's see if we can actually... Pikeman, let's push. Let's, guys, let's push. One more push and I feel we should be done with them. Okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Go. Oh, no, no, no. Peltas are now wavering. My Peltas are wavering, wavering now. Right, right, right. Let's go. Can I actually withdraw them? Still? Is that still possible? We shall see. Right, 152 men there. Cretan's gone. Oh no, my Peltas are gone now. Gone, gone, gone. Let's get this Peltas out of there. Right, so some of them might come back, you see, some of them coming back. But luckily these are the light units, Psiloi, they're coming back, that's okay. Right, very tired, let's get them there. Actually, let's move them to engage this unit here. So Cretans have also uh, gone from the field, it seems. But my Peltas, tired, very tired Peltas, let's see if they can help us with routing this unit of the airport, hopefully tied. Let's see if that helps. Pikes, one more push, guys. Come on, I know it's tough. I know the towers are helping. Look, they're firing all over the place, which is great, isn't it? Right. And I still have a nice, fresh unit of pikemen here. Is it too long to bring him around here? It's too foolish, is it? Probably, yeah, probably. Probably, it's just, just, just great. Right. Okay, let's just wait out. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Some of them are running back. Let's see if I can bring this unit over here. Like so perhaps, I'm thinking. We shall see. Peltas, let's get you out of the fray, guys. Let's get you out of there as well. Let's disengage that. I'll put them here so that they can, you know, recover a little bit. And my unit of pikes, where is it? The second one that didn't have to, any fighting to do. Ah, okay, so these guys are now penetrating the camp. That's not good. Alright, good. Uh, let's see if we can actually bring my pikemen closer. Like so. There you go. This, I don't think these guys will last long. Yeah, I don't think they will. Yeah, they will take heavy damage there. Yeah, let's go. A bit of a mess, but hey. Let's actually get you out of there, boys, so that the pikes can do their job, okay? Let's get you out to here. Well, pikemen, I forgot to tell them to lower their pikes. Uh, oh, no, that's good, that's good. They're doing it fine. They know they're doing it just fine. Let's get you there. Pikes are probably exhausted by now, very tired. Yes, they are. So they're coming back. Some of them are coming back. Let's attack. Yeah. Pikes are doing fine. They're fresh. Yes, they're doing all right. They're guarding there. Now, I'm going to reform the second unit of pikes. Uh, oh no, they're now routing. Oh, damn it. Yeah, they're tired and they're exhausted. Yeah, you see they penetrated one of their units of medium spear, hopefully tied. Oh, my pikes are gone. Damn, now this is a close one. How are they doing? Exhausted, very tired. Yeah, okay, well, I have one fresh unit of pikes, okay? And I have this legendary unit of bodyguard. Ah, it's a shame, it's a shame. It's a very close one, this one. So let's see if we can hold this camp now. I don't know. We shall see if we can. Attack. Oh no, they're attacking our phalanx in the rear. Oh no, no, that's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good. Somehow I let my phalanx be... Yeah, outmaneuvered like that. Oh no, that's good. That seems to be. It seems to be this problem will not last for long. Hopefully, attack them, guys, in the rear yourselves. Yeah, this is not good. My pikemen are losing men here in the rear. You see, some of them turn. Some of them turn to face them. Yeah, that's okay. I think we'll manage to bring that under control. They are managing to sneak into the camp though here. 
managing to sneak in there. Damn it. So we're done with them. More or less. Yeah, they're out you now. Okay, good. Uh, so let's redirect you guys at this other unit of heavy talent here. Okay. Yeah, so this unit is going now. Thank you for that. And let's reform the line. Oh, sorry. Do they need to be engaged, actually? Uh, does not work if formation is turned off or the unit is out of... Ah, okay. Alright, that's fine. Oh, they are in the melee now, it seems. No? I don't know. Alright, let's see. No, it doesn't say that they're engaged just yet. Although some of them are shoving and pushing here. Clearly. Let's see. No, it doesn't count, it seems, because... Yeah, it doesn't look like they're fighting here on the icon here. I don't know. Well, I'll leave them there. I'm afraid they're gonna break as well if they get too tired. Like, silver shields are very tired. All of my units are very... very I don't know how their units are. Clearly, something's up with this AI. They don't tire. They run back and forth, and they then rally and never get tired. Which is, yeah, a little bit bizarre. But hey, that is okay. Let's see. Pikes. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's target. Who can we target here? I just hope none of these units break. Oh no, this exhausted unit now. Damn it. It might break actually. Might break. Ah. Attack. Pikes are not in contact at all, it seems. Are they? Okay, good. So they are all. Let's direct this unit of pikes at these other guys and let's try and reform the line there you go okay good 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 now pikes sticking all over the place right who is this coming back oh man these guys are look exhausted and then yet and yet again they're coming back like they're running back and forth <laughs> all right that's all right that's all right let's see pike man can we attack this unit they also exhausted these guys and I actually press uh, uh, on them from both sides now we shall see come on come on you can do it damn it okay that's it they gone if I I'm if I'm afraid to touch this these guys you know I just wanted them to disengage really come on just just damage them already yeah, let's try and bring them back. I wanted to rest them, just to rest them for a little while. Because my pike should be able to hold on against these guys. There you go. Yeah, they should be able to hold them in place. And we outnumber them as well. This unit I'm worried about, it inflicts virtually no casualties upon this unit. Well, it does some. Okay, that's okay. So I'm going to rest my royal pelters here for a while I'm going to res arrest you boys and I'm gonna chuck you back into the fray I'm sorry yeah you did well you did really well some of them exhausted me right what's happening here oh we're actually doing all right let's turn the pikes against these guys can we can we reform boys yeah where are you going no 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 don't go there where are they going Hang on. Oh, they're routing. Phew! <laughs> no, I'm not gonna continue. I got nothing to continue with. All right, close victory. Let's see. And this bastard, where is it? This this guy, the Basileus, escaped. Ah, we're actually we're actually losing a lot of men. We lost a lot of men. Wow. Well, they too, but still. Right, Atal, oh, he's actually died. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, Atali dynasty. So I need one of my own guys, and um, what is this? Yeah, I'm gonna need to choose, let's go with this fella. Command effect, eight chance, three banditry, public order. Let's go with one of the uh, dynasty, Atali dynasty, and let's give you, let's give you this. Yeah, he actually died, I lost him. You know, being a Muppet that I am. But look, I've killed their general as well, it seems. Oh no, that's his remaining bodyguard. Let's attack him. 
Yeah, let's wipe them out. Let's wipe them out entirely. Yeah, I know what Talos died. There you go. Let's enslave them and ransom. Uh, no, let's enslave. There you go. Advance. Yeah, yeah, I know he died. Thank you. New leader, Trollius. Yeah, they, I wonder if there's a historical character there should be. Uh, but no, I don't see any yet. Yeah, well, that's okay. So, Trollius is now in charge of this army and he is also our uh, faction leader now wow look at this losses oh boy okay guys so thanks a lot for watching this thanks for joining i'm going to have to do a bit of a mopping up here a bit of recruiting and all the rest of that in the next episode but yeah we managed to destroy one of their army at a very very high cost to ourselves with a very very dodgy uh, sneaky tactic <laughs> <laughs> so that kind of worked and now I need to keep an eye on these guys here. They still have two armies there in the field. Alright, thanks for joining me and I shall see you in the next one.